Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm pretty excited for this video because I'm going to be doing a first impression on the Blush Tribe Munaza palette which looks like this. So this is super beautiful and I actually bought this forever ago, like six months ago before my low buy started and I have like this little like cube here where I keep new palettes and I've been slowly working through them but because I do receive PR, I feel like PR on top of my low buy rules it's just taking a little bit of time, but I'm trying to slowly go through and know everything in my collection. And for some reason today, I was just super drawn to finally try this palette because I think it is beautiful. Um, that's uh, Safai305 on Instagram. That's her handle. Um, if you want to check her out, she does some really cool, like just very interesting tutorials. Like the way she edits is really cool. But this is what the palette looks like. It's a little bit hard to show on camera the true colors because of how reflective it is. But I think it looks really beautiful, so I thought we'd go ahead and swatch the shades together. I mean, we, I normally swatch either way, but I'm still kind of undecided on what I want to do exactly today. So I figured swatching them out will help, and then I'll do a look and tell you how I feel about the palette based on first impression. I personally have never really had a problem with the Blush Tribe formula, except for one palette that I've tried. So I have high hopes. Alright, jumping right into swatches, this is Aziza. Safai and Michaela. This yellow felt really creamy. I'm very excited to try that. Okay, next we have Munaza, which that one felt really creamy as well. Simba and Sana. Okay, next I have Azra. Earth, which felt really creamy, and Sada, which that one felt a little less creamy. Let me just go ahead and throw a little extra one on there. All right, next we have Lubna, Aftab, and I believe Kimberly. Yes, makes me think of Fuller House. Kimberly, a me more. Okay, next we have Amanda. Madai. And Sarah Getty. And last but not least, we have Khadijah. This shade felt so pigmented, it was crazy. So there's all the swatches. Definitely excited to go ahead and get these on my eyelids. Now I'm gonna start off by packing that like directly into my crease I just I'm like in the mood to do like a really intense eye today so I've just been doing a lot of lazy looks lately I'm just gonna go ahead and start just putting this down and then we will blend it out with some other shades All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this yellow right here called Michaela. Just gonna go in with a little bit at a time. Accidentally went with a lot more that time. Just gonna slowly build that yellow up and blend that green out. Yes, my cat is in fact caterwauling once again. All right, so I think I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna go back into some more of Earth and just kind of work to blend between those two shades. I will go back in with some more yellow, I think, on a more like f fluffy brush. But I'm just gonna kind of work on this like little area right here for now. All right, I'm grabbing uh, Michaela on a slightly fluffier brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and dust that over the edge just so I get a little bit more of like that yellow halo kind of look. I don't want this to mix too much with the green. I mean, I want it to blend, but I just want to have like some true yellow popping out. All right, just taking that previous brush, no additional product, and just slightly blending right there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use this really pretty blue right here called Madei, and I'm going to use that on my outer V. 
I feel like it's like showing up, but it almost looks like the green is a little bit darker than the blue, so it's kind of just mixing in. It's not really deepening the outer V. All right, so I've been recently obsessed with Betty Jean Butte Bean, and she always does like a, like, she calls it like a faux cut crease where she uses the NYX glitter primer and she cuts her crease with this. So it's like almost a cut crease, but not quite as harsh. So I thought I would just give that a try today, just for the heck of it. Um, I already know that I really like Blush Tribe Shimmer Formula. I've never had a problem with it ever, so I don't really feel like it's a big deal for me to use the glitter primer underneath, but I just thought it would be interesting. This brush feels so weird. To cut my crease with the primer and try and steal her little tip for the moment and see how it works for me. Although I feel like I can't even see the primer that much, so I'm like, where am I really even cutting? I don't even know. Okay, so for my lid, I really want to go in with Amanda just because I feel like it is such a beautiful, like, purpley blue shimmer shade. But I thought maybe I should go in with something a little bit lighter just in, like, the very front. So I think I'm going to start off with this shade right here called Off Top. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab Off Top right here. I'm not going to use it for too much. I just want to pop it in just the very, very front just to add a little bit of dimension. I've actually never used the NYX Glitter Primer before today for just a regular shimmer shadow. I always just use it for like pigments or like glittery shadows. So this is an interesting experience. I feel like I recently pulled that glitter glue back out of my collection and I've just been obsessed with it. It's actually really old really old I should probably throw it away and get a new one even though I have so much product left it's really old all right now I'm going in with Amanda on the middle of my lid just gonna go ahead and lightly tap that into off top and make sure that they are blending together I'm gonna go ahead and take this dark purple right here called Oz called Azra Azra and I'm going to use that on like the outer part of my eye right here just to blend into, okay, that's stuck to my, it stuck to where I put the primer, but it didn't stick here. Like trying to get the outer V to blend with the lid. Um, what did I do? go figure I'm just doing it on the other side so it's even so it's the same on both sides it doesn't necessarily look bad but I feel like you can see there's like that little oval I don't want a little oval grabbing some more of the blue yeah that's not really taking care of the problem all right that was my fault I guess whenever I do the next glitter primer on the lid like that I just have to be more careful about how I finish off the outer V. Anyone else have an outer V that is like literally out to get them and like tries to ruin every single look or is it just me? Okay, I'm actually really excited for the lower lash line because I kind of have a plan going on in my head. I really want to use Khadijah because it's just so pigmented but it doesn't quite go with what I want to do today. I think I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here called Aziza. I'm going to go ahead and put that along the lower lash line. Definitely doing more of like a intense dramatic lower lash line today well, i'm just gonna do that on like the outer part right here leaving a little bit of blank space all right now i'm gonna go ahead and grab the gold shade right here called safai and this is kind of actually going to be inspired by paulina's beauty because she does like the most beautiful lower lash line things where she just does like a metallic shade and she does it so like I don't know I feel like it's such a statement lower lash line so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this gold I'm just gonna pack it on bear with me I'm gonna go with something else over this and it's gonna be amazing so now over that I'm gonna take the Ciate London cream eyeshadow I can't even remember what the name of this is called like the shade name but I'll make sure to leave in the description box but I got this in boxycharm last month and ever since then, I've just been dying to use this in a look. And I thought today I could go ahead and pop this on like the lower lash line over that gold. 
it's just so beautiful i've been dying to use it i'll use any excuse to finally get this on my eye oh my lord so i'm just gonna pop that on really lightly and then i'll go in with my brush and blend it that feels so weird to do liquid shadow on the lower lash line so strong like just the the sensation of like it being so liquidy feels weird but oh my gosh that is beautiful okay. next i know i'm like just like a ball of inspiration today apparently but um if you don't follow makeup jaded on instagram she does the most beautiful eye looks and she's always like doing the most beautiful inner corners and today she posted this let me pull it up real quick to show you how beautiful this look is that she did you see that do you see that inner corner oops like look at that inner corner so i texted her or i messaged her obviously for details and she told me what it is and i own it so we're gonna do it all right so she told me that it was prin and mermaids from peaches and cream mixed together so i'm gonna go ahead and start off by popping the um nyx glitter glue on my inner corner so excited just can't hide it I'm about to put glitter on and I know I like it. All right, so I literally have the lids for Mermaids and Prin right here. And I'm just going to kind of take my brush in both and just mix them together on my brush. Just get a little bit of both. Just going to pop that on the inner corner. Oh my goodness. I feel like it almost looks like it has like some purpley blue going on so it almost kind of I don't know helps the lower lash line and the top of my eye kind of blend together I mean I think this look would have been really beautiful if I just did like all blues and greens all the way around but I just wanted to use that liquid shadow so bad all right I'm gonna go ahead and quickly finish up my eyes off camera and then I'll be right back all right for highlighter today I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade called star blush from Terra Moon Cosmetics. I'm pretty sure this is a highlighter. So that's like a really pretty natural pink shade on me. I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab just a touch of their highlighter in the shade Lace. And I'm gonna put that on just like the very top of my cheekbone right here. Ooh, just for like that little extra mm, moment of course i had to add some on my nose because i love being mistaken for rudolph it's one of my true pleasures in life <laughs> for lipstick today i'm going to go into gerard cosmetics buttercup and then i'm going to top that off with the elf uh, lip oil in the shade pink kiss Alright guys, so this is the finished look and I really love how it turned out. I feel like it just is so pretty and I love the different colors and I'm so glad that I finally pulled this out to play with it and I'm so excited to use it more. Like, I feel like all the warm shades in here looked so nice and I feel like there's some really pretty just like, I feel like there's a lot of bluey, purpley options in here as far as shimmers go. So if that's your cup of tea, this could definitely be for you. And overall, I think from playing with it today i like it so far like i said i don't have any problems with the blush type formula and i'm excited about it and you could definitely let me know if you want to see some more looks with this or like what kind of looks you want to see with it and hopefully at some point i will get back to that because i'm planning on doing a video doing like a battle of blush tribe palettes so i gotta make sure i have my full thoughts on every blush tribe palette that i own which includes this one. So I'm sure I'll be playing with it again soon. And I think that's everything I have to say for this video. If you have any questions at all for me, please feel free to leave them down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.